Hello and welcome to Pi Excellence Tutorials. And in this video, we are going to solve a kinematics question. And it reads, two stones are dropped from the edge of a cliff, of a skistimeter cliff, the second stone 1.6 seconds after the first. How far below the top of the cliff is the second stone when the separation between the two stones is at six meters? So I'd love to illustrate this so that you get the concept. Okay, so let this height be skistimeters. And then we are told the first stone. So let me say the first stone is here. And then also the second stone is dropped. So the separation distance between these stones is that six. So we are being told, we are being asked to calculate this distance. Okay. So now we are going to say the first stone is dropped at time t because we don't know the time. We just know that after 1.6 seconds, that's when the second stone was dropped. So let's say the first stone was dropped at time t, meaning the second stone is going to be dropped at time t minus 1.6 seconds. Okay. So we have to write the equations of motions for these two stones. And we are going to have, for the first stone, we are going to have H1 minus initial. And then these, they were just dropped. They are free fall kind. They, this is a free fall kind of motion. So we don't have initial velocity. So we are going to have, go to have GT squared. And then even the initial is going to be taken to be zero. So we have H1, that would be the height at which it will be when time we go, is go to T. So we have, okay, this is half times 9.81 T squared. So that we, here we have, H1 being equal to 4.91 T squared. So this is going to be our first equation. And then for the second stone, we're going to have, so we're going to try to relate the, the motions for the first stone and the second stone. So this, there's the separation distance that is between the first stone and the second stone. So the second stone, you're going to realize to say that this distance that is going to cover, it will be actually the distance covered by the first stone, okay, H1 minus the separation distance, which is the six. That will be the distance that the second stone is going to, to cover. So we have H1 minus the six, equal to half gt squared, okay? So now we have time, which is t minus 1.6 seconds squared. And this can be simplified in this way. one and this is the same as t minus 1.6 t minus 1.6 like that okay and then we, we calculate that so this is what we have and then this is going to be our equation two and then we say okay let equation one be placed into equation two and then we're going to place four point nine one t squared minus that six equal to 4.91 t squared minus 15.7 t 
plus 12.57. So you're going to see that uh, 4.91 and 4.91 will go, and then we group the like terms together, and we are going to have we are going to have negative 15.7.7t is equal to negative 36, negative 12.57. And we have negative 15.7t equal to negative. 48.57. So we divide throughout by negative 15.7. And time is equal to okay, 3.09 seconds. So the first stone was dropped at 3.09 seconds, and then after 1.6, a second stone was dropped. So now, what we are looking for, I've already said that we're looking for this distance. So now, how do we get that distance? So we can, we can easily get that distance by calculating using map equation one, and putting, calculating H1, so that would be the distance that uh, the first stone would have covered. And then we subtract that distance by 36, because 36 meters is the separation distance. And that would give us the remaining distance. So what we're going to have is like this. We have H1 being equal to 4.91 t squared. So we substitute, and then we have 3.09 squared. So the H1 is going to be 46.99 meters. So that would be the distance for the first stone that would have covered. Now we know that we've been told that, so the second stone will be actually H1 minus the separation distance, which is the six. And this is uh, 46.99 minus 36. Okay. So what we have is the second storm will be 10.99 meters, which is equivalent to 11 meters. Okay. So the second storm will be 11 meters below the top of the cliff. Have you found this video to be helpful? If you have found this video to be helpful, kindly subscribe to the YouTube channel if you have not yet subscribed. And don't forget to click or turn on the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And you can as well like, share the video. You can even comment uh, in such a way you're giving us the feedback. Thank you so much for watching.